Hey there, and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing wonderful. So for today's video, uh, we've started this series where we've used all of the blue art supplies, all of the red art supplies, and all of the pink art supplies. However, I think it is time we use all of our orange art supplies. So let's get into that video. So we're going to start off with the wood markers. And this is all the wood markers we have, not as much as the blue or the red. So this is all we have to work with. Um, next, we are going to start off with the markers. So let me just get those. Guys, for all the cuts and breaks in it, I have three degenerates inside the house right now who are currently <laughs> laughing and talking. So uh, the next thing that we're going to be using is our orange markers. And this is all the orange markers that we have. As you can see, it is not a lot. And now we are going to pick out our orange glitter ink. And I would like, to guys, I would like you guys to tell me about your Christmas and uh, how's your Christmas been so far. We had a noisy Christmas, as you might have heard if you've watched my last video, where our neighbor played music until the next morning. So I was a bit drained. I couldn't even think about Christmas. And anyway, these are our only three orange glitter ink. You know what? Maybe this mightn't be such a long video. And uh, now we need to get our paint. Now this is going to be the issue because um, we only have this orange paint here. And let's look for the other orange paints that we have. So we're going to look through our fabric paint. We have one orange paint in here. No other orange paints. And um, oh boy. Let's see, other orange paint. We have, oh, I forgot about these markers. Yikes, so we have to take out two orange markers from in here and add it to our list. And um, we have, to, guys, hello, humans. I'm still videoing. <laughs> I'm not restarting this one, I'm sorry. Another orange. Using all orange art supplies. There's not really Halloween, but just orange art supplies. I used all of the red art supplies before, all of the blue art supplies before, all of the pink art supplies before. I think that's the only try I did, I'm not sure. So I've decided to use all of the orange art supplies in a video. And as soon as I finish using all of the art supplies, all the orange art supplies, then the video is going to be over. But until then, all orange art supplies should be used. Uh, I think that is all. You know what? I haven't counted. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not counting. Anyway, we're just going to get into the video. Uh, before we continue, I'm going to talk about my idea a little bit. Um, for this idea, I decided to draw a little girl in somewhat of a... Well, you guys know it's called Two Molly in Guyana, or Twin Molly, or Double Molly. And uh, some people call it Space Bun, so... She's going to be having that, but it's going to be two oranges instead of hair. And we're also going to have a special appearance from Mr. Pumpkinhead. So again, let's get into the video.
I just realized I completely forgot to swatch the colors and stuff like that. So we're going to do a quick squat, a quick swatch right now. And we're going to start with the one I used to do the drawing, which is this uh, Crayola Erasable Color Pencil. And then next we're going to move on to all the other wood one. This one isn't really working. Well, it's working a bit. And uh, we have all of these. You know what? I think they're a bit more than what I thought I had. I mean, they look so little, but it's actually... Oh, I like this one. I really, really like this one a lot. And then we have this one. That's also cute. Looks like pumpkin. The inside of a pumpkin. I've mentioned before that I've never seen an orange pumpkin before, but here I am coloring the pumpkin orange. But yet I've never seen an orange pumpkin before. Nor have, I've, nor have I ever seen an orange orange in real life. Like they're just not orange in Guyana. So whatever you guys are using to turn your orange into orange orange. Um, we don't have that in Guyana. It's a bit weird for me to see those stuff. And it's like, it's so orange. How come the ones that we have here aren't orange like that one? The ones we have here look green, sometimes yellow. A lot of these markers look the same. Oh well. I could just use a little bit of it and say, hey, I used it. <laughs> like, who knows? Um, I mentioned earlier that uh, Christmas wasn't really that awesome. So I'm looking forward to New Year's. And now we have gone to the twistable crayons. I had more, but um, they're destroyed. Uh, oh, this one is a bit of a sort of neon color. That's kind of pretty. This one looks more red. Yeah, this one looks more red, but I am, um, you know what, we're still going to use it because, let's see what name it has on it. Um, it doesn't have a name on it, so I don't know if it's actually red or orange. It looks a bit like orange, but then again, my eyes are bad, so it could be red. Next, we're going to use these uh, finer tips of our markers, and we're going to start it off with the new ones that I bought that were really cheap one side the other side you know we could use these for the line work instead of um using black we could use orange for the line work like that would be really awesome so you know what? we're going to use orange for the line work we also have the glitter ink but we only got like three or four of that oh this is so nice we've got this little guy here only one of him and then lastly this one not so nice it looks more like gold but as you can see it's orange so uh, these still look very similar but they're not made by the same company one is made by studio marks and the other one is made by brazic this one is from brazic this one is from studio marks the studio marks one is a bit older than the brazic one next we're going to go to these uh, washable crayola markers and i think i have one crazy art this one is the crazy art let's just open it it looks like a nasty orange and uh time for the crayola this one ran out the back like it's a bit messy but hey it goes on very smooth so that's a plus same as this one goes on very smooth i think this is the oldest crayola washable marker that i have you know what not that bad it's not as smooth as the other two but you know what it still works so points for that um we have this guy over here that's supposed to be two of it uh let me just reach over and grab the other one so see we have two of this and let's just open it up and not that bad like seriously it's really not that bad oh and i completely forgot about this guy here let's open this one and check it out yep definitely not that bad and this one another brush nib so these three are brush nibs they're probably the only three brush nibs I have for this entire thing. And then um, let's look at this one, the washable play cool markers. Also working fine, but I think those, that one bleeds through heavily. Yeah, that one does a lot of bleeding through, so I try avoid using it. These are like for a whiteboard. Um, doesn't really work, or maybe it will work on a whiteboard. I'm not really sure about it, but we're going to put it down as doesn't work. And then we have our last tree. This is a highlighter. We'll find a way to use it. Is this working? Nope, not working, so we're just gonna throw it away. And 
another highlighter so we're going to find a way to use it in a small amount we have the glitter and we have the paint but we're not going to test that we already know it's paint and glitter so we're going to continue back with our work here so that's all for the testing oh we have some we have a lot of oranges in here too let's see how many oranges we have we have about five different oranges in here so we're also going to be using them anyway back to the video this video I was thinking of oranges but eventually I changed from orange to pumpkin because I had Mr. Pumpkin head in here and hey there isn't no such thing as Mr. Orange head maybe we can create the character like that but until then I guess we're going to have to deal with Mr. Pumpkin head <coughs> have a little bit of a cold going on here anyway um I kind of like Mr. Pumpkinhead, as you can see his head is now popping up there and uh, he has this little girl next to him. Oh, he's also holding a pumpkin in his hand. So uh, maybe that pumpkin can be like someone he's about to make or maybe he's about to replace the little girl's head. Who knows? <laughs> That's very, very dark. But I mean, the girl has a normal human head, 
and he has a pumpkin in his hand and they're in a field of pumpkin now if you've ever remember the movie Carly where the mother well the other mother sewed button eyes in to the children's realize um, maybe Mr. Pumpkin Head exchanges their heads with pumpkins so you know they have to stay in pumpkin land forever I'm just making this up as I go along I don't have much idea of what I'm going to do really but I like the idea of pumpkin land and Mr. Pumpkin Head takes your real head and gives you a pumpkin head so uh, that would be something nice to kind of think about but then we have so many other stuff that we've started but never finished so maybe we should also work on that for the new years who knows <clears throat> um there was some stuff that i added in at the end of this video like uh, for example they um <clears throat> The stars, I added a little white into it. I didn't want to use any black, so I didn't use any black, and I um, I came to regret that. And since I used all of my orange art supplies with no other art supplies, therefore this didn't really have the pumpkin-y look like the last set of drawings of Mr. Pumpkin had. And I know I'm making an excuse, but we had to make do with what we have and uh, we didn't have a lot so there was that in the way of it um this guy since i wanted everything to be orange i used the watercolor to color in the sky and sort of like put clouds there and i used the white to line the clouds out so that you can see the clouds separate from what is going on and the little girl is in a little orange dress I used the fabric paint to put polka dots on her dress because that kind of gives it a bumpy look to it and and I used the glitter ink a lot on the pumpkins to just make it look so nice I really do enjoy this and we're going to have a wonderful peel at the end so definitely can't wait to see that Oh, and I'm starting to think I made a mistake. Maybe I should have put pumpkin as the hair buns instead of orange because it's orange that I put in. But I'm starting to think, hey, pumpkins would have looked a lot better, you know, since everything is pumpkins. Oh, her dress, the bow on it has two orange on it. And, um, oh, if you're this far in the video, hope you give it a like and hit that subscribe button don't forget to turn on notification so that you would be notified for our next videos because I think we still have to do green and purple I think green and purple are the only two colors left I'm not really sure about that so apparently we've already used all of the green art supplies and all of the red art supplies and all of the blue art supplies along with all of the pink art supplies so we have all of the purple art supplies left along with all of the yellow art supplies so just purple and yellow oh, and brown black and then white but i don't really have so much white art supplies just those white colored pencils so maybe we'll skip white or we'll find a way to incorporate white into it because I do have the white paints so yeah just a few more colors left to do but I really had this crazy idea for uh, the green art supplies which I didn't realize I've done already so I think I'll maybe turn it into the yellow art supplies and use those for this super cute idea that I've got planned out uh, I'm gonna need a way on how to darken yellow I think you can use brown to darken yellow so we'll definitely need to do so I don't know if that would be breaking a rule or not but I will try to use brown to do so to darken the yellow art
beginning of this video and all we have to do is peel off our tape and look at our final product. So this is all for using all of my orange supplies, which I definitely did use all of the orange supplies. <coughs> and um, really, really hope you guys like this video. Let me know whether to do the yellow or the purple next. I really, really want to do the yellow next because I already have an idea for that one. Whereas the purple, I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do with that one. So um, definitely can't wait to do the yellow. It's going to be something like a forest, a forest scene that I got from, what's it called again? Dragon CD. And um, I, I have nothing to talk about. It is currently 8.30 in the night. It is Tuesday and this video was supposed to be out since Sunday. But of course I got distracted. I slept in until 4 on Monday. I definitely hope my mom doesn't hear what I just said. Because like always she doesn't watch my videos. So, uh, yeah, slept in late. Monday, woke up 12 today. So God knows what time I'm going to get up tomorrow. Anyway, this is our final product of using all orange supplies. We've got um, Jack here. And um, the pumpkin. And the little girl. Anyway, that's definitely all for this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Goodbye.